So I'm Matthew Gibney, Associate Professor in Politics and Forced Migration at the Refugee Studies Centre. My research concentrates or focuses on the uh, taboo against states deporting their own citizens. Um, this is a, a ubiquitous uh, norm, generally uh, respected by states, but it's for the most part unexamined in most academic literature and uh, often in everyday life as well. In uh, recent years, there's been a, a growing move towards using expulsion power, particularly across Western states, that is evidenced in um, the growing use of deportation against asylum seekers, uh, non-citizens that have convicted crimes, but also against uh, people that have been deprived of their citizenship, such as those suspected of terrorist offences in the United Kingdom in particular. The aims of research are, I suppose, fourfold. They're to look at the historical evolution of this norm and understand how it came into being. They're to look as well at how states have attempted to evade the implications of this norm over time. Thirdly, they're to look at the question of how changes in how we conceptualise citizenship, such as dual nationality and European Union citizenship and what I would call moral membership in the state, challenge this norm and raise questions about its scope and its absoluteness. And finally, I'm interested in some normative and ethical questions about the moral justifiability and scope of the norm. This research is important because it focuses on a fundamental right of contemporary citizenship, the right to be protected from expulsion power. And that connects to other basic rights, such as the right to family right, life, the right to work, the right to associate with one's friends and colleagues, um, and the right just to have a secure residence within a place over time. So therefore how this uh, protection from deportation evolves over time is absolutely fundamental to human welfare. I'm conducting this research um, for the most part by doing comparative studies across a number of Western states, including the UK and the US primarily, but not exclusively, and also doing a range of archive research interviews, looking at parliamentary debates, as well as uh, examining a lot of historical literature. Well, I think the practical implications is that it speaks to current debates over the legitimate use of deportation power, whether long-term permanent residents should be subject to it, for example, even if they commit crimes. It plays into questions also in modern politics about the protections that should be offered uh, those suspected of terrorist offences. More generally, I think it tells us something about the nature of the evolution of citizenship, what we understand the rights that it might entail, and also its role as a form of identity. And finally, I think there are questions raised about just what is the legitimate scope of expulsion power, which um, affects how we conceptualise what is forced migration and what is not forced migration.